Alrighty, let's get going. Well, let's see. Last time we were building the second station and we're making good progress. I think we had one freighter trip left before I needed to give more orders to the freighter. We had all the resources hauled in except the um, energy cells and the copy track substrates, I think it was. I think we have enough Computronic substrates and storage to finish the same place. I just need to give a bunch of freighter orders for that. I'm not sure about the energy cells, though. But we'll see when we get in for sure. Anyway. In addition, of course, to the second station, we need to race around, deal with any problems that come up. I should probably start trying to think of ways to make more money, because we are in rather dire need of it. I think the last time I calculated it up, it was like 100 million short of what we are going to need. Not quite 100 million, but it was pretty close. Probably actually considering the cost of... Um, Ship blueprints would probably be more than 100 million. Well, small ship blueprints are pretty cheap, so it might be actually. Well, we'll see. We definitely need more money, though. Okay, we are on board the wheelbarrow. And this is. This is station two, yeah. The yet as of yet, yeah, the as of yet unnamed pinwheel class station. All right, so first things first. Container. We have a few bits of loot around here we should collect. I'm not sure what the suck range is for a medium ship. I think it's like seven or eight K for a large. And it's only like one K for a small. Container. But yeah, I don't know what it is for a medium. Whatever it is, I wish it was larger. <laughs> okay, did I pick all that stuff up already? I must have. All right, let's have a look at what is going on with our freighter. We have one remaining trip consisting of sil the remaining silicon carbide and some comp triangle substrate. And what do we need? Comp triangle substrate and energy cells. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Hello, Mount the Diglu. <laughs> Playing X Force, you don't have to. <laughs> I don't know. Is there any half to involved? <laughs> Uh, let's see. We want to transfer wares. Um, how many energy cells do we have in stock? 42k. Doesn't quite get them all. I think we need a lot more than that yet, but we'll see here in a second. Uh, trade with the build storage. Ooh, we're so close to being able to fill out. Okay, we're 50 energy shells sort. And the rest is just going to be Computronic Substrates, I guess. How many trips of this is it going to take? Created the build storage. Uh, a little over one more trip. Getting into ESO. Um, Elder Scrolls Online? Okay, I think that's 
Yeah, I've never played that game. I'm never really got into MMOs much for one reason or another. Okay, we need 122 of those and 51 energy cells for the next last trip. Question is, can I do this with the Baldric? 122. Yes, we can do it with the Baldric. 122. And then we needed 51, was it? Energy cells? Okay, cancel. Transfer wares. Come on, where's the... There it is. 51. And... Hello? 122. How's the Milo Empire coming along? Oh, slowly but surely. Want to trade with the build storage. And when you're done with that, park over there. And as for the Okinawa, it has all the trips programmed and just needs to park when it's done. There. Now it's just a matter of waiting to, for the station to finish. All the resources have been ordered. We just need to wait for it to happen. Well, we need to haul these in eventually. I'll probably have the Baldrick do that later. Apparently some locals dropped off some energy cells or something. I'll complain about that. Actually, I should probably make this a priority. Um, 660 and 80. 660 and 80. 660 and 80. 660. Okay. And 80. Oops. Right there. Okay, perfect. So we just trade with the actual defense station this time. Wait, what? I swear I loaded. Oh no, I loaded Computronic. Okay, cancel. Um. Let's see. We'll remove that. And then we will buy. Um, silicon carbide. Of which we need 80. Right there. And... We drop that stuff off here. Trade to the actual station. Boom and boom. Done. And then we park. Container. All right. Let's go vacuum up this loot. There we go. Okay, please don't shoot my build storage. It's just really annoying when you guys do that. Actually, I don't have to worry about the enemy shooting my build storage. I need to worry about my own guns shooting the build storage. Because you just get an enemy to fly between the station and the build storage and they go, ah, and shoot the crap out of it. And then it's a really annoying pain in the butt to clean up. Because I need to get a freighter in to pick up the stuff and dock and dump it off again. And 
It's just generally not any fun at all. Container. The solution is, of course. Advanced satellite. P. Oh, that little bastard. Thank you. Like that ass right there. Did he... They just shot the crap out of my build storage. Damn it. This is why I wanted to get away from here. But couldn't. There's too much crap is going down. Um, I don't have another freighter to come out here and collect the stuff. Because the Baldrick is busy. What did they drop? A lot. Yeah. We need to get the Baldrick out here and collect that. Okay. Hmm. I guess we'll just wait for it to come back and we'll teleport aboard and handle it manually. Because at this point, it wouldn't be much faster to make it or turn around and come back immediately than it would be just to wait for it to get here. Maybe a little faster, but I think we have enough time on the container countdown to handle it. Um. Container. Would you bastards, please, for the... Stop it. If I'm far enough away, they won't target the build storage. And everything works magically. Because friendly fire apparently isn't a thing when you're at long range. But... Man, if it doesn't suck up until then. And I don't want to leave too far because... Loot. Probably should just zoom away and sit over here for a while. Yeah, we don't want this stuff to despawn. None of it's expensive. We could easily replace it. It's just more freighter trips that I don't want to have to make. But anyway. More freighter trips. Everything takes longer. Fun, fun. Let's see. That is not the direction we want to go. We want to go this way. Looks like they're building some new stuff around here. Should probably drop another satellite over this way, so this is covered, but... Also, why is the trade overlay on? Is that still on from... Okay, currently they're blocked on... stuff. Okay, they still have over a million credits. All right, well, I guess when's the Baldrick coming back? It still hasn't gotten there. The Okinawa's coming in. You might have to use the um, Okinawa to collect this stuff. Ooh. <laughs> Actually, let's kill the drives. How much storage space do I have on board the Swan Song? Not actually all that much. However, you can at least clean some of this stuff up that way. So I think we're going to use the Swan Song for this. The best part is... Being a large ship, this thing has the super suck. So we get all of the loots. Okay, and here comes containers. Which we collect some of it, I think. Some small amount of it. Now I wish I could figure out how to dock this thing. Um, yeah. 
I wish I could figure out how to dock it with me in control. In any case, it looks like we got most of the metallic micro lattice. Damn it, I don't have any cargo drones. Hello. Hello. Okay, that is mildly annoying. Oh. Well, I guess we wait for the freighter to arrive. <laughs> Whether we want to or not. In the meantime, let's teleport back to the wheelbarrow so we don't cause any friendly fire incidents. Katana. Okay, it looks like the Okinawa is coming in, as is the Baldric. I would rather use the Baldric for this, but I may just use the Okinawa. Pause the Okinawa's orders. Um, yeah. Pause the Okinawa's orders when it gets here. Teleport aboard. You know, after it's unloaded. Suck the resources aboard. The Okinawa might take long enough to unload, though, that... Um, that it's the Baldrick could get here first. In any case, whichever one is empty and headed back first, we'll pause its orders and then have it clear the stuff up. Ordering at the dock is going to be an annoying process. Because we'll have to order at the dock. And then it'll go, oh, you mean after all my other orders, right? And I'll have to tell, tell it, no, no, I mean right now. Yeah. A bit unfortunate. Even if the stuff despawns, though, I got most of it. Or some of it, anyway. Aboard the Swan Song. Okay, where is the Baldric? Oh, I really need a second Baldric. Or a third or fourth Baldric, but they kept getting destroyed, so I'm down to just one nowadays. Actually, I do have one. Well, I mean, it's not... I won't be bringing it up here, but there's another one down at the Grand Exchange headquarters. Okay, you, what are you doing? Failed auto trade. Okay, what do we need here? 300 advanced electronics? Well, I know a place that has advanced electronics nearby. So why aren't you going there and getting any? Okay. even have 300 in stock okay we shouldn't have to give him an unload order because he should figure that out for himself after he's loaded but after that we're going to need some more plasma conductors but we're not a little just a little bit short of those not a lot short This is the all the farther I've ever been in the teleportation tree. So the last time I was fairly happy with the five range instead of the infinite range. Infinite range is nice, but five got most places I need to go. This time, it'll, infinite range will be a little more valuable. Oh, 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 oh. I would need to haul a couple more loads of Nvidium if I wanted to get it. The infinite range one. Also, that's just a lot of stuff. Energy cells are cheap. The field coils and superfluid might be a problem. The advanced electronics would be a problem. How much money do we have right now? 37 million? Yeah, we're getting there. Speaking of getting there. Okay, these containers are still there, thankfully. And here comes the Baldrick. Yeah, the Baldrick will probably be there and unloaded before the um, Okinawa is. Oh. Oh, 
ha ha ha. It's a bit unfortunate that um, I'm kind of curious if a construction ship has um, cargo drones on board do they also serve the build storage? A little weird. The real weird part though is how you just I seemingly cannot dock at the build storage manually. Here, out of my seat. Watch. Hello there. Play around with us a little bit. Seems to have Xenon in the area. Yeah, they keep stopping by. But it's not Xenon Red, it's Asteroid Field Red. Okay, let's see. We have no docking options for that. We have no docking options for this. We would probably need to be closer for them to actually show up, and I don't want to go over there until I have to. Um, see if there's anything in here to show build storages. No, there does not appear to be. Yeah, there doesn't appear to be anything here about showing build storages. That is mildly annoying. Oh, uh, you guess there's nothing to trade filter side either. Oh, um, hmm. Yeah, no. Okay, the Okinawa still's got some stuff on board. Um. Yeah. Baldrick is almost there. Okay, actually the Okinawa is empty. So let's teleport over there and get on the controls. Hello. So sorry, I'm busy right now. Oh, damn it. Waiting for drones. Of course you're waiting for drones. Okay, that's interesting. Please stop with the weird vibrations. This is very concerning to me. Container. Okay, we've got some of our containers coming in. We definitely have very weirdness going on. Drones. I know you don't appreciate whatever is going on, but please just dock and stop causing problems. Okay, you. Let's check this. We want to drop all of your metallic micro lattice. Requesting permission to dock. Docking drop it all. Granted. And then we will engage the suck for that as well. I'll take a minute or two to get over here. Container. Here it comes. Okay. Now, Swan Song 
Go ahead and trade with the build storage. Oh, not Swan Song. Duh, I'm an idiot. Okinawa. Trade with the build storage. Unload all the stuffs you picked up. Go to behavior. Um, I can't drag and drop this crap, can I? Okay, we'll have to expand these so that we can see which ones they are a little easier. Okay. And we'll expand this one. And move it up to the top as well. All right, I think that'll work. I think we actually want it to be there. Yeah. Okay. That should get them back to their normal orders, I think. So let's teleport back over to the wheelbarrow. So we are out of range of stuff that will shoot the build storage. Or you know, out of range of the build storage being able to detect that it was shot, I guess, is the more correct way to say that. And let's pay attention to the Okinawa's cargo capacity. Give it a second to unload. All right, come on. Get the last dose of stuff off, please. Yeah. Build storage taking damage is a giant annoyance. At least it's behind the station instead of in front of it. Actually, in this case, in front of it, it probably actually would probably take less damage in some ways. Because in front of it, why does it have two hundred and some energy cells in its inventory that he claims it's going to get rid of? Um, what? Have a look at its orders. Okay, its next order is to buy energy cells, 42,000. No. Here, you. Trade with the build storage. What? Okay. Don't think it actually has anything in its... Yeah, it does have some energy cells in its inventory. Okay, we'll drop those. I will go pick them up. Container. My own personal... So with my own personal ship. I'm not sure how many energy cells we can hold on board this beast, but I guess we'll find out. Also, I'm not sure why I didn't just engage the travel drive. And once again, brakes suck. Okay, let's get over here. <clears throat> I did not mean to shoot, but that's fine. I don't think I destroyed those. We have metallic micro lattice in our inventory for some reason. What? Did we accidentally destroy those energy cells? Well, 
well. It looks like we're going to be slightly short on energy cells. We'll have to get a load of those. And why do I have metallic micro lattice filling my inventory on the ship? Must have been picked up by accident. Um, let's get rid of that metallic micro lattice, first of all. Trade with Hello. the gold storage. He doesn't want anything I have. Okay. Uh, have you optimized your empire? Been watching how to be efficient economy in the X4? I don't know that I really have much economy to optimize. <laughs> the grand entirety of my station production of my production is this. <coughs> and it is not really optimized. And it looks like we're low on ore and silicon again. Okay. Clearly, I need to get more large miners. I don't want to spend the money on it's large miners. Out. Here, out of my seat, please. Um... Well, we'll worry about those last few missing energy cells later. We're going to need to deliver some for this anyway. There are people out there that truly turned it into the Amazon shipping of the X4 world. <laughs> I like the economy in X4, but let's be honest. I don't um, play X4 for the economy necessarily. I mean, I do partially play it for the economy, but that's not the main reason I play it. I also play it because I like flying all the different ships. And being able to have fleets and all the things that space games normally don't allow you to do. Because, I don't know, allowing the player to run a fleet just would be too hard or something. Um... We probably don't need to hang out here any longer. We can teleport to the Swan Song whenever we want. I don't see any Ks coming. There's these two here that are still hanging around doing nothing. Um, do we have any excitement happening in this system? Doesn't look like it, so. Yeah. We should probably go handle these CAC. Jumpgate, family, Zin. Yeah, if it was a game and if the combat part of the game was stripped out, it was just a game about maximizing your economy, I don't think I would play it. The space combat is serviceable and good enough that it's well worth playing just for that alone, in my opinion. And it's not the best space combat in the world, but... Combine reasonable space combat with being able to fly whatever ship you want in the entire game kind of makes it unmatchable speaking of which oh, let's go get some combat and then I should probably stop over at the um, the first steps and drop off my cargo and pick up a small cargo of energy cells Entering to deliver. System. Family. Zin. Okay. Hive guard. 50k away. We can thrust her that far easy. Just have to remember to get off the thrusters early enough that you don't overshoot by too much. I like the economy, but starting out so far is death, because right now I like to wander around. <laughs> yeah. There's some games where economy is enough. 
spot. It's a space sim. You're flying around. I don't want to play space trucker. That's what the AI is here for. <laughs> Especially nowadays when I don't have the time or patience to deal with that kind of thing anymore. Hi, if I see more than a little bit of having to run trade runs to make money or something, it tends to be like, nope, I've got, if I want to grind, i got better places to grind. Not that I dislike grinding. I quite like some amount of grinding in games. It has to be the right game and it has to be a fun grind, but I just don't have the time for it anymore for one thing. All right, um, let's see, what else is around here? Everybody went boom? Okay. High tech factory. Let's go to the first steps and dump the metallic micro lattice that we somehow got in our inventory. Then we'll grab however many energy cells we can carry and take them in. We'll dump as many as needed to fill out the uh, build storage. And then we'll put the rest into the station inventory for, um, for bot construction. You'll be fine, you big baby. And I overshot my target because I was busy looking at a Bolo Miner. We had nothing better to do besides complain. You know, I bet I could fix some of the braking performance issues in this thing. If I used the, um, we were hit. okay, that's in Grand Exchange 1. Precious little Stopping I can do right. about that. I don't think I could even teleport to Grand Exchange 1 if I wanted to. Also, please stop bunking into things. Alright, let's go and do a little bit of trading. Sort of. We're not even going to actually trade. We're just going to um, transfer wares. Successfully docked. Okay, there we go. Metallic micro lattice. Goodbye. It's an honor to have you aboard. Okay. Apparently, it won't let me load one thing and unload another. <clears throat> on dock and let's get out of here go ahead and kick it into gear I think our gate is over this way somewhere maybe it's that one uh no it's this one jump gate there we go Wretched skies. no that's not it it is this one Okay, we've got some random crap out there that I don't feel like collecting. Jump gate, family, crit. All right, back we go. I really need to buy some more bolos. Problem is, I have a strong aversion to spending money right now. I really, really, really need to get the ability to buy my own ships. And I am a lot of millions away from being able to do that. A lot of millions, unfortunately. A little under 100 at this point, but it's still pretty substantial. Entering system. Family. Crit. Okay. Just head right on in over here.
We're going to want to dock at the main. No, we're going to want to dock at the build storage first. So we'll let the AI handle that. <clears throat> because I still haven't figured out how to dock at the build storage manually. I'm starting to think it's actually literally impossible, but there's got to be a way to do it. I mean, surely there wouldn't be. Hello there. There's no way to order somebody to dock at a build storage. Okay, once you've traded there, then go ahead and just trade with the station itself and unload the rest of the inventory. And when you're done, head over there where I can meet up with you. I think I'm going to teleport away. Surely, I haven't researched the teleport I would need to get over here, do I? Navigation. No. Okay. Um, actually, how are we doing on, oh, teleportation range is researching. 12 minutes. Okay, good. So after this, the Where's next the thing to do would probably be to go through the shield mod dog. tree, which there's nothing too insane looking in there. That should Ship be just a matter of soon. them picking up local resources. I think all this stuff is available pretty easily locally. Okay. Weapon mods would be really nice, but the problem with weapon mods is it takes a lot of them it's to do a ship. Up. Whereas shield mods, hello there. All the rest of the mods, for that matter, it's just one per through the whole ship. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, so we got 12 minutes before we can do five jumps of teleporting. One, two, three, four, five. We could teleport here. Well, actually, it's four if you go to the bottom route. And yeah, we can teleport pretty far. We could reach Profit Center Alpha. I think we could reach two grand as it is. No. One, two, three. Maybe we can reach two grand? In that case, why can't we reach... Oh, we're in Family Crit. Ship Duh. Will be undocking soon. So we can reach Open Market from where we're at. But not Zara's Dominion 4. Oh, well. Zara's Dominion 1. Well, well, well. I guess we need to pack up and go take care of that problem. Are any Ks coming our direction? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Let's teleport to the swan song and go get them. Okay, so our gate is right in front of us somewhere. <clears throat> Unless we wanted to go the fast but somewhat dangerous way. That would be dumb. <laughs> Jump gate, family, Zin. Tempting, but dumb. No glory for you. Okay, nice and lined up with the gate. That should be good. Um Yeah, I don't want to fly this on autopilot. It'll be left turns the whole way. Okay, so where is he going? Awaiting orders. Hopefully he doesn't blow up too much before we get there. Yes, I already know about him. Interestingly, it doesn't give me the warning horn for this station. Because that's a different warning sound. The station warning. 
And it's a different message, too. Hmm. We found something out here. It does bother me a little bit that I never seem to get the station warning horns. Okay. Left turn to the next gate. After the auto save gets out of my way. Entering system. Family Zin. Okay, the gate is right over here. And right like that. Starting to line up on it more or less. A little bit more or less than more, but okay, there we go. And then we need to make another left turn. As we go through this gate. <clears throat> Entering Alrighty. system, family newt. Another left turn. There's our gate. And this should take us to Zyrus Dominion 1, where we are going to kick some K bot. Speaking of K bot, he is attacking that microchip factory, looks like. Well, not for long. <laughs> So, standard procedure, or try to approach him from behind. Awaiting orders. We are fast enough now that we're not completely Entering dead system. if we don't get a Fire perfect angle. Okay. But we do still want the best angle we can manage. Also, above is way better than below. <clears throat> Okay, so, which, how is he facing? I'm going to assume he's facing toward me. Yeah, he kind of is. Okay, we are 7k away. We should be above him, sort of behind. Let's go ahead and pump a bunch of shots into his engines. That should stall him out rather effectively. Boom. He's down to half of his engines now. Go ahead and let him cool down after this. We definitely have his attention. The problem, for him anyway, is that he really can't get to us in time. Let's see if I can get some shots on his chin turret. Um, got a few hits. Firing a little high. And now we wait. Probably put on full reverse at this point. And the shields are gone. He's a little bit faster in forward with half in half of his engines than we are in full reverse. But he's not enough faster to get to catch up with us and the amount of time we have available. Definitely those up last round of upgrades made a huge difference to how easy this is. Okay, you know, we do wait for another cooling round. Oh, no, I guess we don't. Oh, that worked out pretty well. How come the AI computer did not say K or I? Um, it should have. If I clicked on it. 
Requesting immediate backup. They say it for everything else, and I thought they said K, K when I clicked on it. Which I remember. Okay. Yeah, like that. It's a wreck, but. Okay, let's go down here into this little madhouse and let the guns paste about. Get rid of some of these peas and such like. Thank I have you. no idea which side, which way is up in here. Thanks this station help. looks like it might have got a little damaged. <laughs> it's pretty beat up. P. Wow. Well, let's see if we can get a couple of these guys. With the main guns, to be exact. Getting them with the turrets is boring and easy. That is assuming they will allow us to get into range anyway. Which I assume they will because ain't nobody ever said the AI was smart. Okay. Go boom. Boom. There we go. You cannot tolerate your actions. Did I scrape your station with one of my secondary turrets? Oh no, I'm so sorry. It's so terrible that I might have slightly damaged your paint while dealing with your bit of a xenon issue here. E. Go away, please. Boom. I've increased my salvage capabilities. Nope. Not doing salvage this run. I don't have a source of um, energy that would be powerful enough for it without spending way too long building energies. Um, I gonna call it. Where is... There he is. P. Okay. Now. Are there any more peas in the area, or have they all gone away? They've probably all gone away. Well, we have a defense platform to take care of yet. Yeah, I'm not doing salvage this time. It just it takes way too much energy to do outside of Avarice or one of the other systems that has a higher than normal sun value. And of course, the little bastards don't want to let me get away. Can't engage travel drive anyway. We might as well slow down so we can get the loot. Also, the constant sound of fires um, offending my ears. So let's switch to third person. You should find the teleporter now has a much larger. Yay! We finally have, which means I should go in here and set research for advanced shield mods to on. I will need some materials to get started. Yeah. Worry about those later. That's your problem, not mine. <laughs> okay, can we engage travel drives yet? Yes, we can. All right, let's go. Don't shoot me, you little bastard. 
Not sure if he shot me or if I actually engaged drives. Yeah, he shot me. Damn it. It'd be kind of cool if it remembered your camera position in third person. And when you switched back, it would take you back there. Okay, let's attempt to energize the drives again. Nope, not going to happen. All right, kill the drives. We'll just let these little fools catch up. They think they want to catch up. We will show them why that is a bad idea. Because once the dog has caught the car, he needs to be able to do something with it. And these guys are not capable of doing anything to me. There we go. Okay. Oh, it's almost the end of June already. You know what that means? On July 19, I think it is, Stray is coming out. And I am cautiously excited about Thanks that for game. Your help. Thank you. Hopefully it lives up to um Not sure why I call it the hype. My level of excitement, anyway. <laughs> because, cat. It's so much nicer. Okay. I never thought I would say this, but a speed of even 138 feels fast in this ship compared to what it was when I started. <laughs> it is almost twice as fast as what the base speed was. Man, I miss miss some uh, split engines. All right, let's just paste up their build storage. That sound you hear is the. Um, the cries of Xenon Lodgeman. <laughs> All right. This won't take long to blow up at all. Oh. Okay. That didn't work out for him. Go ahead and get rid of this station quickly. I don't really want to pick up any of this crap. Because it's just energy cells and other miscellaneous BS. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. A little bit more and boom. this up a little bit. Alright. And then we go home. Jump gate. It's tempting to go stop by the shipyard and see what's available for upgrades, but um, I'm pretty sure I don't have the resources required to get to the maximum haul upgrade yet anyway. So, 
that's the main thing I'd be worried about upgrading at this point. We could put like a shield upgrade on or something, but I don't really need that at the moment. I would like maximum or a maximum regenerate on the wheelbarrow, but on this thing it doesn't really matter. Actually, let's let the AI fly home. We can just teleport to the wheelbarrow. Okay, go park over here. Speaking of which, how are things going? Um, we just have a load or two of Compatronic Substrate. We're done. It looks like. Yeah, everything else is full up. So we have two more loads from the Okinawa. And that should handle all of the resources required here just fine. Um, we also need some energy cells. It looks like we need about 1,030. Well, we have a Baldrick right here. Actually, is there a... Right there's a solar power plant. Okay. We want 1,030. Don't know why I'm not just typing this number in. And... I should have just typed the numbers in, it would have been faster. Okay. Come back, trade to the build storage. No, not the build storage. The station itself. Wait a second. I didn't math that badly. Did I? No, it says it needs 1500. Whatever. We'll see what happens when the first batch is sold. If they suddenly decide this guy's not flying. Can I help? Proceed with your orders, you idiot. I didn't give you orders just for you to sit there. Okay. Remember this auto save is done. Okay, there we go. Let's teleport back to the wheelbarrow. Out of my seat, please. Family. Next run. I'm definitely not doing any equipment restrictions. <laughs> or at least no equipment restrictions that stop me from having split Mark IV engines on my personal vehicle. I really want to get one of these things and absolutely max the engines out just to see what it's like. Because this thing, it's pretty zippy already. I can't imagine what it'd be like with Mark IV and Mark IVs and max upgrades in every possible category. It wouldn't be as punchy as a Dragon Raider. And the Dragon Raider was already kind of insanely fast. But part of me just needs to see this thing at full capacity. Maybe at the end of this run, we'll go swap the engines on it just to see what it's like instead. Anyway. What should we... Okay, we should check on everything see how we're doing. How are we doing as far as resources right now? We're low on ore and silicon, which we have been for a while. We have 3,000 Compatronic Substrates, 50,000 Metallic Micro Lattice, 3,000 Silicon Carbide. Okay. These two stations are the most important ones for us to build. They're the ones that keep the stuff out of my hair. Once these stations are done, 
don't know if we're going to go ahead and build any more defensive stations just yet. Um, eventually, we want to. We're going to want to build one over here eventually, and we're going to build one over here eventually. And I think that'd probably be it for now. Eventually, we're going to want to build a defensive station, more defensive stations. For now, I think we can just handle any caves and stuff that come through here and let these guys deal with the fighters on their own. Because I don't really care that much about that section of the Empire. <clears throat> as far as I'm concerned, on this side of the line of the leeches, on this side of the line of the factories. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to lose any of these systems, but I don't care if they, you know, have their little war over here. I'll stop by and kill off any um, capital ships, but building a defense station right in the gate is a low priority for them. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually right now, I'm going to set these all back to sell to anyone. Because if I set these all back to sell to anyone, then I might make a little bit of money on this station. Probably not much, but I did make some millions from stuff stopping by and buying Compatronic substrates. Probably should set production limits. Yeah, we'll worry about that later. For now, things look pretty okay. Um, there's that rapier. Currently being used as a teleport anchor, I guess. I can teleport to it now? Yeah, I can. Okay, there was something I wanted to test. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll worry about that later. <clears throat> Okay, so hopefully we'll make a little bit of money on this. We might get a few Terrans, but are particularly ambitious. Let's go back south and go Junkgate, family, Zin. keep trying to clear those CAC out of there. Actually, oh, that reminds me. What was the end result of the CAC raid in open market? Ooh, they're still killing it. And it looks like they are very, very close to death, done with it because of the 3% haul. Hmm. Okay. Just sell, sell, and sell some more. Well, unfortunately, nobody nearby is interested in what we're selling. <laughs> Except the energy cells. Yeah. Hopefully, if this goes down, they'll stop raiding us. I might need to go out there and check it out myself. But anyway, for now, let's go destroy the ones in Family Zen. Entering system. Family okay, I Zen. see a bit of red over this way. Life guard. Wonder if we can ram it at travel drive speed. That'd be a dumb idea, but... But I've been known to do dumb things before. <laughs> Awaiting orders. Once or twice. Okay, we didn't actually get anything to blow up. Um, there's some stuff over here that's harassing a ship of mine. Hive guard. Requesting immediate backup. Yeah. Stop harassing the miners, you jerks. Miners are actually pretty well provisioned as far as weapons go. I made sure I filled all the weapon slots. I did not worry so much about their shields, so. Against little harassers like this, High they can guard. handle themselves pretty well. But they don't have enough shields to really deal with any, any truly concerted effort. Which is fine, because CAC are pretty squishy and don't do that much damage. At least in these sizes. Protector. 
Honestly, I'm starting to think there's no real reason to ever buy um, two or three shields for a um, for a merchant ship. Because, I mean, sure, if, you've, if you're building it yourself and you have the materials, you might as well. But if you're buying it, and you're short on cash, then you might as well not. Because anything that can pierce through the tier one shields without too much trouble could pierce the tier threes as well, and it would just make it take a little longer. And I guess it depends on if you have an escort along that can be counted on to secure the area. Speaking of which, are we doing for loot down here? Container. Oh, decent amount. Let's go get it. Just go around down here. Anyway. Hopefully somewhere in this loot will be the resources we need for, um... Oh, damn it. For the max, um, all upgrade. Because we were missing some kind of... I don't remember what they were called. Some kind of AGI something or other. It wasn't like the heuristic core or anything like that, because that's used for weapon mods. Don't remember what it was now, it's dumb. Loot? Hello? Oh, it's ammo. That's why. Okay. All right. Queen's guard. More cack than need to be dealt with. Please don't hit a rock. <laughs> Tomorrow is Thursday. And that means that is Nostalgia Night. And currently, Nostalgia Night means Dark Messiah. And I don't know about you guys, but I quite enjoyed Dark Messiah last Thursday. And I am quite looking forward to more. It has been a very long time since I played through that game. Hive guard. And additionally, the point we're getting to quite quickly now is a point that I've never actually gotten past. Not because it was too hard or anything, but just because I quit by that point the last time I played. I've killed the Paukai before. But I don't remember if I ever did anything past that. Unknown object. Yeah, I did do some past that. Because I remember the um, the orc village. Just not sure how much past that I did. Probably not that much. Oh, here we got a good old xenon of the M type. I don't think he's going to enjoy that experience any. Alright, is there anybody else around this system that we need to deal with? A little more loot. There's an N. N. 
Here, let's go deal with the nan. Okay. Don't want to go too fast. Boom. Stock the loot. Okay. Oh, there's this yet. I think I'm going to go dock at the station and deal with some of this loot. Is that all the stuff we have a lot of? See if I have enough to craft the pieces I need. Where would be a good station to sell things at right now? Um, probably the equipment dock, actually. Split equipment dock. Slide over there and say hi. Thank you. But anyway, I'm quite looking forward to k kicking orcs off high places tomorrow. Because if I remember correctly, right after the temple is where the orc village is. And I do remember lots of opportunities to kick orcs off tall places. After all, why else would you play Kicking Simulator? <laughs> Granted. I'm not sure how many streams it'll take to play Dark Messiah, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do after it either. Successfully docked. I'm kind of torn on trying to figure out a good way to get um, Jagged Alliance 2 working. Awaiting orders. Yeah, I'll have to worry about that later. Um, let's see. You want to go talk to a person about a thing? It requires us to get up. We want to go to Trader's Corner. Damn it. If you stand in the wrong place, sometimes it doesn't teleport you. I've had it teleport me where I was actually clipped through the door and could see what was going on outside the door. So I watched the transition. But most of the time it won't let you do anything you close to that. Okay, singularity engines. We have 14 of those. We should probably keep that many. Interface units, we have lots of those. We'll sell about half of them. Um, Lodestones, we want to keep all those. Programmable field arrays. Mm, we'll probably sell some of those. Space fly eggs. It looks like we need to craft some of that stuff. Um, seminars. We'll pick up a piloting seminar. Why not? Okay, there's a nice 4.9 million. Split wish you fortune. And we're going to have a good chunk more than that when we craft the. Um, there I'll call it. Come on, I'll just save. <laughs> Jagged Alliance 2, just getting it running is pretty easy. There's... For the 1.1... Th let's just set it straight up. I would never play that game without 1.13. Well, that's not necessarily true. If 1.13 didn't exist, I would play Jagged Alliance 2 without 1.13. But, since 1.13 is the thing, <laughs> I would never play it without that. And inside the 1.13 distribution, there is some patches that make it work with modern Windows. Or fix possible problems you have with modern Windows. Apparently it works for some people and not for others. One of those fun things. My problems are more along the lines of... Split wish you fortune. When they wrote that game... They wrote their own blitting functions. And they're very explicitly only work with 16-bit colors. Oh, time to go back to Zyrus Dominion, I guess. 
we'll just leave our ship here and teleport straight over to the swan song anyway when they wrote their blitting functions they basically Entering they were designed only for 16-bit color well nowadays everybody uses 32-bit color for some fairly obvious reasons at least so awaiting orders you can fairly easily if you're playing full screen you can fairly easily um run in um whatever kind of color depth you want because you're to have full exclusive control of the screen so you just tell your graphics card hey i want a display surface that is so big by so big and um has this color depth well it's a little more detailed than just what color depth you want you can also choose like different modes for the different color depths and you know how many bits you want per color within there's a couple different ways of expressing colors in the lower bit depths but anyway so yeah the way Dragon Alliance 2 does it it has to be it can't it can't render to anything else and yeah for window it's not a, not window for full screen it's not a problem but i don't if i play full screen at 1440p in that game everything is tiny and the game runs like crap system family zin so that's kind of a non-starter don't know if this is the right gate i think it is yeah it's the right gate anyway I'm not sure why the game runs like crap. It shouldn't. But it just kind of does. So, and if I play at a slower resolution, then when starting, I'm not sure if it's just my system or if it's just kind of a Windows thing, so, but I have had problems with it in the past. Oh, it tends to pull all the windows off the side monitors and onto the center Entering monitor. System. Family. Newt. And change their sizes so they fit at the new resolution of the center monitor, which is a non starter. <laughs> so if I fire up the game, Discord and voice meter and my stream monitor and my um, other browser window that sometimes has a stream monitor and sometimes with other things. All that stuff gets sucked to my center monitor and made small and it's really annoying so I much much prefer to play on windowed mode and generally it's not too hard for most games oh Entering hello system Zyos Dominion what are you doing here It's generally not too hard to make most games run okay. in a window. And it's generally quite... Once you get it running in a window, it's very easy to make it run in a full screen window. A full screen borderless. I have a little program that... I don't use the one most people use, but I've got a little program that very easily takes any old window that's desktop sized and forces it to be borderless full screen. And it works really well. Hassle free. Really simple. It's not doesn't it's not one of those fancy ones that tries to do it automatically. It just uh, you start the program, you pick the window you want out of the list, it makes it full screen, you're done. So it is a little tiny bit cumbersome, but I don't play many games that don't have some command line option or something that can make them full screen windowed without having to resort to that kind of thing that often anyway. We are way too close to this thing. But anyway, and you can play Jagged Alliance 2 windowed just fine. The problem is, since it's 16-bit and refuses to draw to a non-16-bit surface, 
well, it needs to be a 16-bit surface. And the way you get a 16-bit surface in windowed mode is by setting your desktop color depth to 16-bit. Because if one program needs it to be 16-bit, all programs need to be using 16-bit. <clears throat> and having to go in and manually change my desktop color mode every single time I want to play a game, and then change it back every single time I'm done, is not my definition of fun. <laughs> So that's pretty much the point I reached the last time I messed around with it. I kind of decided, ah, screw this. We'll worry about it later. That was the night, or just before the night, where I played Jagged Alliance back in action. Which I also like, but it's not, oh, but it's not nearly as good of a game. Back in action was, yeah. It wasn't great. It was fun, but it wasn't great. Not like Jagged Alliance 2 was, anyway. Explosion imminent. Alright, let's go suck the loot up. Basically, I just need to decide if I want to suffer through having to remove, having to tab out, which is risky and prone to failure, and move my windows around, or whether I want to deal with the pain in the butt of getting it working in windowed mode. I'll probably just end up playing in full screen and saying screw it. Um, where is our target? Thanks for your help. Hello? Oh wait, I'm wrong system. Duh. Here we are. Jump gate, family, newt. All right. They don't have any station or anything in here yet, do they? No, they don't. Okay, let's go back. Ah, uh, the sun. <laughs> but anyway, one reason why I would never ever play Jagged Alliance 2 without 1.13 mod is because the original game, the inventory system was basically just had a rectangle and it was divided into a grid of small squares and then a row of big rectangles. The rectangles would hold large items like large medical kits or guns or... Entering system, family. I think need. body armor went in those... Some other stuff like that. <coughs> anyway. So. You'd either put large items, equip them on your body, carry them in your hands, or carry them in large slots. Small items would go in small slots, equip them on your body, you know, so on. <clears throat> Ammo was a small item. But that was it. You had large items, and you had small items. 1.13 removed that entirely. You no longer had inventory slots. Instead, you had body slots. So you had body armor, you had shirt, you had, you know, basically your standard assortment of a whole bunch of different body slots. And that was it. I think the, if you didn't have, if, um, I think you had a couple of pants pocket slots that were just small slots that could hold a couple of really, really small items, but there was like barely anything you could fit in your pants pockets. And you had a knife slot, you know, dedicated knife slot. You had an extra back slot that could carry a weapon, you know, carry a slung weapon. So there were a couple slots, but they all had like a, a specific use. And if you wanted more inventory slots, well, you needed to wear clothing that had slots in it. Jump gate, family, crit. So you'd wear like a, a plate carrier or something. They didn't call them plate carriers, but basically that'd be what it'd be. Load bearing equipment. Or you could wear a backpack. 
that would actually have inventory slots you could fill. <clears throat> and different kinds of load-bearing equipment would have different slots on it. So you could, for example, get a vest that had a couple of large slots on it specifically designed for carrying machine gun belts. And that was all it did, is added a couple machine gun belt slots. Or you could get a, a vest that had a whole load of medium-sized pockets that were specifically intended for um, rifle magazines. And then a couple of Entering other slightly different medium-sized po pockets that were intended for grenades. You could put other things in those pockets. But only things that were, you know, roughly the size and shape to be able to fit into a pocket like that. Or smaller. So it went from just having two different kinds of inventory pockets to having dozens, if not hundreds. Which definitely made loading your guys out much more interesting. <laughs> okay, how far along are we on this station? Actually, let's get parked before we start looking at this stuff. That and it changed the default... The base game came with a uh, a 25 action point system. So your action points would go from 0 to 25. 1.13 uh, changed it to uh, a 100 action point system. So initially they just took all the action point numbers and multiplied them. Oh, this is almost done. And the drones are all done as well. Awesome. It's just has two more... The disc defense platforms have to get their guns yet. Actually, they may have their guns and may just be waiting on their um, guns and shields. Anyway, 1.13. Yeah, the action point system was pretty cool. Where is the wheelbarrow? Where is the wheelbarrow? What is it doing there? Oh, it still had a leftover movement order because I, like an idiot, did not remove all orders before I got in. Okay. Katana. Note to self, always remember to remove all orders when you Hello, fly then. a ship somewhere manually. Speaking of which, I should probably go make sure I have removed all the orders from the swan song. Which I clearly did not. Okay. So, let's get out of here. It's almost 10.30, so we'll probably just check up on status for everything and wrap it up a little early. Uh, we've got about, oh, we've only streamed an hour and a half. Anyway, this station's almost done. Have we made any money at the first steps? Yes, we actually have. We made 2.2 million. Nice. What did they buy? Computronic substrate. Okay. I suppose if you guys really, really want to buy Computronic substrate, I'm not going to stop you. <laughs> this station definitely... It looks really weird the way it is now. It needs to be much bigger. <laughs> I should probably add another dock to the other end. A larger one. We'll worry about that later. Okay, where are we at right now? Hive guard. We're going to go mark a hive guard. That's where we're at. But anyway, the last time I played Vanilla Jagged Alliance would have been, oh, I don't know, years ago. Because it had so much more than just load-bearing equipment. Wings guard. And so much more. It doesn't really change the game at all. It just adds stuff to it. Wings guard. It's not like a total overhaul. In, I mean, it's not like a total conversion or anything. Doesn't change the story at all. 
It doesn't really change the game basic gameplay at all. Outside of, you know, the load bearing equipment kind of thing. I guess that could be considered a Queen's Guard. <clears throat> it just makes it better in every way. Fairly uncontroversial uncontroversially so. That and pretty much everything it does can be turned on and off, which is a huge complaint I have about mods in general. People change too much, and that's not optional, and you're stuck with features you hate because there's some feature you really want. Well, this isn't like that at all. Everything can be turned off, which is kind of crazy. Oh well. I'm sure I'll play it on stream someday, but who knows when. <laughs> Problem is it kind of ruined turn-based strategy games for me. Thank you. I like like the new XCOM and stuff like that, but every time I play a game like that, I keep thinking of <clears throat> Yeah, all the patches are all over the place for getting game to work. There should be some patches right in the download for the 1.13. Container. And I also, oh, one thing, one thing you may have to do is disable the intro. Because for some reason, without disabling the intro, for me, it crashes. I just suddenly remembered that. I'm not sure how you go about doing that without the uh, the 1.13 mod. Because that comes with a launcher that lets you do stuff like that. Yeah, I'm not sure how to do it in vanilla. I think it's a command line option. But I don't remember what it is. It's like, what kind of problem are you having exactly, Prospero? Because for me, it'd probably like one of the intro cutscenes or something, and then it would um, go to the main menu, but it'd be all blank. Everything was black. And then if I disabled the intro cutscenes, it worked. But I admit, I didn't try launching vanilla last time I did it. See, Jagged Alliance 2 is actually open source nowadays. Which makes it a little bit annoying that nobody's fixed any of the rendering issues, but I guess that's just too big of a job. And I'm certainly not going to do it. <laughs> make a YouTube video on it and you'll sub to my channel. Well, the only YouTube videos I make is the one we're making right now. <laughs> I just upload my VODs there, and otherwise I ignore YouTube completely. Yeah, I'll post some stuff in Discord. About it after stream, if I remember to do it. Oh, which I will. I think Waiting I can probably orders. just... No, I don't know how large... I don't remember how large the package is. But I can post some links and stuff. and Maybe some of the patch files. Because, like, one of the patch files that is a new version of some of the DLLs. It's a DLL from um, Wine. Because apparently the Windows version is lacking some library call that is somewhat required or something. I don't really know. Which is a bit weird, but Microsoft is usually really good about compatibility. It'd be weird that they'd actually have removed something that people used, but... Um, let's see. At this point... We have... 50 million. We need... 125 or 130 roughly 
So we're actually making good progress. We made about 20 million since the start of the stream. Now at least half of that was me selling loot I'd collected. So I think that's probably going to be an important part of making money from here out is making sure we have ships that we can use to collect this loot. The problem is if we have automated loot collection running, they're going to refuse to go anywhere except to Grand Exchange to drop it off. And that's a bit of a problem. Unless we clear a safe route. Even if we clear a safe route through um, Darkest Cascade, it's still going to be a bit of a problem. Oh well. That is a problem for future me because I think I'm going to end a little early today. So that I can get to bed at a reasonable time. And hopefully start tomorrow's stream before it gets too late. I've been starting a stream way too late the last couple few days, pretty much all this week. And I would like to um, no longer have that be an issue. Also, my mouse is about to die and I don't feel like plugging it in. <laughs> so, yay, go lazy. <laughs> but anyway... So, I will see you guys here tomorrow, I hope, for, um, where I call it? Dark Messiah, most likely. I don't see any reason why I wouldn't play Dark Messiah. That's what's on the schedule. <laughs> Jagged Alliance probably won't be for at least a few streams. We have to finish Dark Messiah first. But I do def definitely I want to play that. I just need to figure out whether I want to try to make windowed work or whether I want to try to make full screen work. In any case, I think I'm going to send you guys off to AF because he is currently streaming. Writing underscore one. There we go. So anyway, AF is playing. It looks like Death Loop. Okay. F is ending soon? Well, tough. He's going to have to end soon with you guys watching him. <laughs> In any case, have fun over there. And yeah, I will see you tomorrow and have an awesome night.